感じます全身全霊をぶつけ続け己を熱く激しく燃え上がらせているのです恐れもその炎の中でムード管理感じられるのは己と相手そして All it took was a single sentence. Suddenly, everything Whis had taught to us about Ultra Instinct was forgotten, and the truth in Goku's access to this power was lost forever. Goku's statement seemed almost too obvious. We learned straight from the angel himself the tragic way that Goku was forced into learning a power not even all the gods have reached yet. And with each new detail that Whis taught to us about this mysterious technique, the more that statement started to make sense. Was Ultra Instinct really nothing more than an accident? In three seconds, you can easily win up to a thousand dollars by instantly clicking the notification bell and watching the entire video fully until the end. Two, check the pinned comment for giveaway link, and one. When Goku realized this was his only choice, he threw away his own safety just to push against Jiren's glare. But the risk of using his most reckless of abilities was too high. He just couldn't take it and was left free falling into an attack that was way too powerful for his weakened body to handle. However, there was one thing Whis found that this black hole wasn't powerful enough to defeat. With a mindset to never give up, a desire to always protect the innocent, and a need to become the strongest. The will to keep living was all Goku had left, and all that he needed. But there was something that stood out even more than this will that could easily shatter through anything. After finding a new power, it's normal for any Saiyan to improve that power's strength each time they use it. So why, with Ultra Instinct, was this time different? Accessing it for a second time Goku actually found his technique weaker. How is that possible, though? When the aura was clearly glowing around him as Kefla was forced off the stage. Thing is, looks can be deceiving. And once again, there was only one person who could see through those flashy colors. Only Whis was able to find that Goku had not defeated this enemy through Ultra Instinct at all. But of course he was. How could anyone, after finding Goku with power like this, be able to see past that kind of move? The last time anyone had seen a punch like that, Jiren had left the stands, us viewers, and Goku all shaking. Kefla should have been eliminated. Not standing up like she'd been attacked with a feather. It just didn't add up. Until Kale and Kalifla were falling back into the stands. Impressed, we praised Goku for abandoning Ultra Instinct. In that moment, Goku had realized how out of breath he had gotten. He knew this attack would be the end. It was now or never. Defeat Kefla or fall out of Ultra Instinct again, becoming the easy win he should have been all along. And seeing that he didn't understand his new technique fully, he chose to use a familiar attack instead. 
And although Goku most likely wouldn't be able to get away with that again, Whis clearly approved. Because Goku was realizing on his own what Whis already knew to be the truth. When learning how to fight, defense is only part of the equation. And as cool as Whis's original explanation of Ultra Instinct was, But if you overcome the learning curve, you'll be able to avoid any danger, however severe. That alone would never leave Goku as the winner. The other side of fighting offense was equally just as important. Taking that into consideration, compared to the way Goku's body was making the decision for him to dodge an attack, finding that he was still thinking about which attack to use and when to use it, Whis knew that Goku had yet to master Ultra Instinct. But soon, Jiren brought out another critical part to learning Ultra Instinct that we had never seen before. With this, The truth in Goku's last words of Dragon Ball Super starts to fade away, reminding us of the knowledge Whis had been giving to us all along. Falling into the eye of the Genkidama, deciding to keep fighting after Kefla had left him barely able to stand. Both times, we saw for ourselves the way into Ultra Instinct. Nothing to do with protecting those he loved, Goku's body was forced into fight or flight dodge or lose your life. In these two moments, that was all Goku's mind had the time to think about. But now, everything was different. Strong, but not cruel. Jiren saw Goku's weakened condition. He saw just how close his foot was to falling off the ledge. This was no time for going all out. A simple punch. Jiren knew that was all he needed. And yet, Without the force of a fight-or-flight response, Goku's body made a familiar change. With just the voice of a friend, Goku could feel the energy coming from each one of the teammates that sat there helplessly cheering him on. How could he let them down? No matter how strong or how weak they were, every last one of them had given it their all using their trust. Had he not always pulled through, always found a way, and with just their trust, Goku had done it again. Knowing that Goku could only access Ultra Instinct by being pushed to the ultimate limit, now we could all see that Whis had been right. There was still a lot for Goku to learn about this power before he could say he had mastered it. And what he needed to learn wasn't just how to use it both defensively and offensively. But even more important than that, Goku needed to learn how to access it anytime, any place, in any situation. Now, finally, Goku had done just that. And even more impressive, Goku's attacks were landing. But it wasn't long before Jiren had proved his title right again. Was trying to win this tournament realistic? Maybe this fighter truly was stronger than even a god of destruction. No matter how many times he pushed through, no matter how many barriers he tore down or how many times he improved it, the technique whose name had first had the gods trembling at the sound of it. was now looking like a useless move, and Whis was the only one who understood why. Improving and perfecting are two different things, 
unfortunately. The problem he had while fighting Keifla was still weighing Goku's progress down. Although, as a trainer of a very impatient, spoiled little god, Whis had learned to look at things a bit too strict. But unlike him, there was one person who had seen Goku tear down the odds time and time again. And with this impossibility that Vegeta was so sure in, we suddenly could see it. The thoughts of seeing his universe be erased, it was gone. The knowledge that Jiren was so much stronger than him, that had disappeared. The fear of never truly becoming the strongest, Goku had left all of it behind him. And suddenly, his defense had improved by miles. His offense was too flawless to understand. But the most important lesson that Goku had finally mastered was something that actually isn't even all that new to him. Watching Goku grow in his skill as a martial artist is something we've been doing for decades. Watching him find access to impossible powers without a fight or flight response. Watching him improve those powers just by putting all his worries aside and being completely in tune with the moment of the battle. And do you say Ultra Instinct was an accident, Goku? But until he figures that out, you gotta wonder, can his Kaioken times 20 on Super Saiyan Blue really defeat Vegeta's Super Saiyan Blue evolution?